Hey, hello, YouTubers. It's Coaster012, and I picked up my PlayStation Vita first edition bundle. Now, this one was actually exclusively released on the 15th of February 2012, and you actually had to pre order it to get this. Uh, if you did not pre order the system, it actually does not. Uh, actually fully released till the 22nd and of course uh, being a game enthusiast that I am I had to actually pre-order one of these beforehand and before I open it it comes with the game Lil Deviants uh, case and a 4 gigabyte memory stick. So it's a pretty good deal. It was $299.99 and considering it wasn't that bad of a deal. And I of course I had to pick up a couple couple other games here. I picked up Dungeon Hunter. I don't know what that's going to be like. I heard the other Dungeon Hunter games were alright. I just kind of get gut because I wanted a couple other games. Uh, Hot Shots Golf. World Inventational. And Uncharted Golden Abyss. This was actually probably one of the most anticipated release games for when this thing first came out. It was funny though. Because I got this, I uh, pre-ordered this VB Games. And people were saying, or um, pre-ordered it, it, EB Games. And I went over to London Drugs because they did not have the game that I wanted for it. It was actually quite interesting. Like, they didn't have Golden Abyss over there, because the people that pre-ordered there already bought all of them. So, when I went over there, they, uh, to London Drugs, they are like, what the hell? The, how the hell did, did you get one already? Because I went over there, like, you know the system doesn't release until the, the 22nd, but, uh, <laughs> it was just funny. Anyways, let's start opening this thing. I got a knife beforehand because I know I always have problems getting freaking stickers off. Here we go. Let's get opening. No, PlayStation Vita. This must be the system itself. It's going to be in here. I will open this up first. Of course, uh, more freaking stickers. to make life so much easier for you. Ah, it's still getting gross sticker on my hands. Stick them to this one drugs bag. Woo! No. Okay, and a, uh, oh, uh, looks like charger cord, USB, so uh, quick start guide, and one in French, and of course, what the moment of truth, what we've all been waiting for, Where's the people to do a drum roll when you need one? Right? Crap. Please no. PlayStation Vita. Oh my goodness. Like, they said it was going... I'll go get my PSP. Because I... They said they were going to be noticeably... They were going to be a bit bigger. I wasn't sure how much bigger, because 
and stuff falling on the floor. Crap. Because, sit down in the camera for a sec. Okay, let's sit these two bad boys next to each other. The predecessor to the Vita with the little annoying stick that I did not like. Oh, frig, using that thing was horrible. And then the Vita, look at the noticeable difference. Dual thumb sticks. Actual sticks now. They look like they should be a a lot more efficient for actually using on stuff. A lot better. X square, circle, triangle, blah, blah, blah. Your top, your L and R buttons. And, did I mention, for not everybody that may not know this or not, or whatever, it actually dual touch screens. Front touch screen, and this whole pad on the back here is a touch screen itself. Now this is going to be interesting for games. There are certain interactive games like, uh, I guess in a little deviance, you'll roll around on the terrain and you, you tap on the touch screen that makes it pop up in certain sections and whatnot. And this here is going to be like Uncharted that I noticed, uh, I guess has a few features like jumping across ledges or whatever you can use your finger and I guess also to navigate for the menus and whatever it's gonna be useful so that's cool and this little slot here that's power button, volume little slot, tiny little slots here uh, one of them is USB, one is actually Um, for the game and unlike the PSP which used UMD discs they now use like a um, they actually use like a memory stick they're all on like the small memory sticks let's see if uh, I can get Uncharted opened quickly here rip out the plastic Stupid camera is really bad. The battery's like dying on it. I hope it doesn't die in like five in the next like minute or two. If it does, then what I showed you now will we get upload to YouTube, and that's I don't know if I'll make another part. Cause I was really interested to see what they looked like at first, but this here. It's actually the game. This little tiny stick. Or not even stick, it's more like a sort of like SD card. This will actually insert in the top. And I forgot to mention, there's front and rear cameras. As you can see, there's like there's like a small one in the corner there, it looks like. And then the rear camera could be used mainly for like interactive games. But I guess you can also do things like Skype on it and whatnot. But anyways, this is my PlayStation Vita. I may upload some gameplay videos or whatever. I gotta check out. I heard you can also, if you download titles from the PSP, they can be played on here too. There's a couple games, like especially God of War, really annoying with this stick to do like the rotating, like interactive sequences. With this stick, I can, these sticks should be a lot better for that. Hopefully, they work well. But yeah, holy crap, look at the major difference in size of screen. The system isn't really that much bigger, but I really like. How they it was done. It was, it was real impressive. Anyways, this is Coaster Zero Two. This has just been the unboxing and kind of like an overlook of the PlayStation Vita. Um, everyone have a nice day and uh, yeah, peace. Peace out. Where's